Hey guys, what's up? It's XAP here, and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. I'm here today with Duct Tape Digger. Um, he's hey. another cool YouTuber like myself, and we're gonna be showing you guys some of um, like some of the locations that a lot of people don't know how to get to, and yeah, so just different places around the island. Uh, so do you want to start with like the alchemy shop, librarian, and stuff like that? Yeah, it's really close to here. Yeah. From the portal, you just have to go backwards, like, yeah, just behind yeah. you, and then the librarian is right over here, and here's where you, it's like you buy books and enchanting balls and stuff. Best books, bro. Top tier <laughs> yeah. books. For sure. And then Can back here, builder? oh, yeah, bu builders here if you want to get lava and water for obsidian, and uh, this and is one that a lot of people ask about is the weaponsmith, because everyone wants to know how to get the undead sword. So, yep, um, there's the undead sword. 100 yeah. coins. Mm -hmm. uh, Alchemist oh, is yeah, actually Alchemist back here. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, yeah. you just buy like nether wart here, brewing stands, bottles, and yeah. uh, maybe some other stuff there if you really want to. Alright, so for the floating islands, uh, here's spawn. So you're going to head this way. You're going to pass Jamie. If you don't have a rogue sword, Jamie's going to give you a rogue sword. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then you're just going to run uh, all the way this way. You're going to see the oak trees. You can cut these down if you want. Uh, they'll book if you oak. Uh, oak is actually the best wood generally, but you might want to get the other woods for... Basically, they can be good for basically minions, but besides, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're just gonna I'm keep pretty sure that's how you get, like, the, um, the chess, or the, the minion chess, isn't it? The storage, yeah, you get yeah. it from oak. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, okay. Okay, so this is the floating islands. This is where you can get all your birch wood. And then there's a bunch of islands here. Then spruce wood. Yeah. Then we got jungle. Basically, you can go and through all this, mm -hmm. and there's all the different types of wood. Yeah, and there's like a quest um, at the t at the dark oak island way up there too, I believe. And mine your dark oak wood here. So basically, what you're going to do with this is like get your minions so that you can just get more minion slots. But most of them aren't that useful, but dark oak and oak are pretty much the only ones that I would like actually want to get really high, but mm -hmm. besides that, yeah. Okay. Alright guys, so this same road that you went on to get to the oak wood and the floating islands, they're gonna go on to get to the, well this is the ruins, which is basically the level 1 silk open to like coal mine, uh, or the original oak wood mine, and the farm, the original farm, mm -hmm. which you need to get to level well, you just have to get to combat level one to then get to the spider's den, which is yeah. over here, mm -hmm. which just have like slightly better mobs basically. And uh, the if you want to get skeletons, uh, a good place to grind skeletons is over here in the skeleton, the well, basically the skeleton of the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of skeletons, and also this is where you can get gravel. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Which basically is good for a gravel minion. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Uh, but the bones is good for like oh. hurricane bow and stuff like that so to get to the nether fortress you're gonna go right from the spawn portal mm -hmm. or well, you, this is one way to get there there's quite a few actually you basically just have to get to the third floor uh of this place uh of this oh, way this yeah. is the way okay because there's another there's another way that was over here that i usually take but okay this one was faster okay good for me to note even <laughs> and then this should take us right there, right here, I believe. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, here's your blazing fortress. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually some stuff here we probably should show them. All right, so here in the nether, there's actually quite a few things. Uh, if you go left immediately from the spawn, originally I didn't actually know where this was. Yeah, I, could, uh, it, <laughs> I did a video with a couple of my friends and we were trying to find it and it took us forever to find it. So this is where you get glowstone and nether quartz. Mm -hmm. You can't actually get it in the other parts of the nether for some reason. But yeah. <laughs> they only put it in this one little area. Yeah. There's actually a lot here, so if you do need it, this is where to go. But besides here, there's nowhere else in the nether to get it. Yeah. For some reason, it's only in this like one tiny area. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to show uh, where the magma boss spawns? Yeah, uh, we can do that. Yeah. All right, so... This is where the magma boss is going to spawn. It's yeah. you basically go straight and then you don't go up that stairs. Yeah, you go down. Go down and then uh, there's actually some withers here or wither skeletons and magma cubes. Uh, but basically you just have to wait here for hours 
Yeah, for the magma yeah. keeps spawn. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can get lucky and come here when it's about to spawn. I usually just lobby hop, or I mean, yeah, lobby hop. And ask people yeah. when it's gonna spawn. There's literally like 10 people here. A lot of the time you get like 20 people just waiting up there on that mountain and it just spawns right there in front of the mountain. So also guys here in the nether is nether wart. So what you're gonna do is basically from the spawn here, you're gonna go straight up. Mm -hmm. Uh, You could go there, but let's just say we go over here. It's easier. Uh, you can go straight up, and there's going to be some wither skeletons here that you have to fight. There's some nether wart already over here. Uh, you do have to kill all the wither skeletons, which, if you don't have good armor, could be problematic. Uh, yeah. But basically, once you do get there, there's a lot of nether wart here, so it's actually not that hard to get a uh, nether wart. Um, there's also, this isn't the only spot where there is nether wart, though. So if you keep going, uh, I believe. I'm not actually sure which way. Yeah, I don't. Uh, oh, there's more in the other word. Oh, yeah, there Basically, go. there's another word in like all the columns. So like, there's another word all the way over here. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, different places. Place, yeah, it's so. actually a, there's a lot. All right, guys. So also there are blaze here. There's blaze outside of just this building as well, uh, which we may or may not show you. I mean, basically, if you just explore the another, there's blaze like in the like middle of nowhere kind of. Yeah. But basically, you just want to go all the way to the top, and some blaze can spawn right here. Usually it's not too many, but it's enough to like get your blaze rods. Unless you're really grinding the collection, then maybe you do want to go outside uh, because there are somewhere outside. But as you can see, there's also blaze over there. Basically, they're at the top of all the towers here, uh, but and they're also outside, uh, but not like where we showed you where the magma cubes are. You basically have to like kind of go exploring to find them on the outside. There's blaze like over there. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> next we're gonna show you guys how to get to the fairy pond. Um, basically, you're just gonna want to go back this way towards the Colosseum, and you pass the Colosseum. You follow the road. Yeah, you follow <laughs> the road. Basically. Yeah, basically, and you yeah, cross the bridge and keep going on the road. There's gonna be a like a river thing up here. You cross, and it should be right up here. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, right here. Right here, yeah. Uh, there's like one of those little floating things, and then uh, yeah, and then I think they're called crystals. And this is where you yeah. find Tia. And then yeah, so this is this is where you fish if you want to try to get fairy armor, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, it gives that, you that speed. cool looking armor. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. So to get to the third tier farm, if you don't know how to get there, it, it is a little bit obscured. It's a lot harder to find than. I guess like all the other third tier places um here's like where the wheat fields are so you have to get to level one to actually go to the barn which is the tier two part uh tier two place all right so you have to get to level five farming to be able to go to the tier three so the level two you can get like cows and pigs and i think chickens mm -hmm. and then level three is going to be like up this road there's just like little mushroom covered portal looking thing which isn't going to teleport us to the same world. <laughs> yeah. And here, basically, there's actually a lot here. You can get rabbits, sheep, sugarcane, cactus, mushrooms, cocoa beans. Yeah. Uh, mm, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But uh, cactus is basically all over on the in the sand desert, and then sugarcane's all around this water and over there. And then cocoa beans are all over here, which generally are grown because people don't really farm them so if you need cocoa beans they're here yeah all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and end the video here um if you guys did enjoy or find the video useful please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new i also have duct tape um or i'll have duct tape dip, duck oh my god I <laughs> i'll have duct tape diggers uh channel down in the description if you guys want to go subscribe to him and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all next time peace